Hi there, I'm here today to talk to you about discordant and concordant coastlines. The clear distinction between these two types of coastlines is that concordant coastlines have rock types that are parallel to the coastline. So if we look at our diagram down here, we have our sea here, and we have a band of rock that is parallel to the coastline. So this is an example of a concordant coastline. A discordant coastline, the rock types are perpendicular to the coastline. So here's our sea, and you can see that our bands of rock are running perpendicular this time to the coastline. This is an example. This is uh, in Dorset, so this is Pool Harbour and, Sw and the Swanage area of, um, of the Jurassic coastline in Dorset in the south of the UK, as we can see on the map here. And we've got different bands of rock. So we've got a band of chalk, we've got a band of clays and sands, and we've got a band of limestone rock. Now these each have different rates of resistance or different levels of resistance. So chalk is a resistant rock, it's a hard rock. Clay and sands are less resistant, these are softer rocks. And limestone, again, is a more resistant rock, it's a hard rock. So if we look at the coastline from this extent to the bottom of the diagram, we can see that this band of rock here is running parallel to this coastline. So this is an example of a concordant coastline. Whereas if we come round to the opposite side, if we come round towards the bay area, we can see that our bands of rock are running down perpendicular to this area of coastline. So we said this is a discordant coastline. Now as you can see, on this area of coastline, the, um, the rock face that's facing the sea um, and therefore takes the extent of most of the erosive forces is of a hard rock, a more resistant rock. So therefore we don't get much erosion along this coastline here. In comparison to this coastline, which is discordant, we get differing rates of erosion. We can see our band of hard rock sticks out we can see our second band of hard rock sticks out and we can see our soft rock is clearly being eroded at a quicker rate than our two bands of hard rock. And therefore we get more features and more landforms develop along a discordant coastline than we do a concordant coastline, particularly with regards to headlands and bays.